Hello and welcome to this edition of ICOM. Now, what I'm holding is an elephant symbolizing peace in Chinese culture. This is made of liuli, and this goddess of mercy or guanyin is also made of liuli. Liuli art as an art form has been existing in China for thousands of years, but it nearly disappeared in modern times. Well, these days, once again, we're seeing stores like these, souvenir shops like these, popping up everywhere in major cities in China. We're now actually seeing the revival of Liu Li art. And many people attribute that to two artists, Chang Yi and Loretta Yang. Interestingly, 27 years ago, Loretta was an actress and Chang Yi was a film director. So what made them make that decision to try a totally new area to them? What are the challenges and successes they've ex they have experienced? And what are the behind scenes stories of tears and laughter? And today, let's talk to Loretta and Chang Yi. The crystal art form of Liu Li is revived. Loretta Yang and Chang Yi have become synonymous with the name as they infuse their creativity and souls into the fragile material breaking boundaries and blazing trails. The artists consider Liu Li to be the best way of expressing the human experience and connecting with the cultural roots. Well, when we talk about Liu Li, I mm -hmm. guess this is a new name to Westerners, to foreigners, and they may know more familiar with terms like art glass or glass mm -hmm. art or even crystal. Mm -hmm. What exactly is Liuli? How do you explain this term of Liuli to our audience? When we first uh, become acquainted with the Liuli, uh, the glass art, uh, we found that uh, there were pieces come from Czech, France, mm. America, Italy, even Japan. But they were not uh, from China. I think that was significant to us mm -hmm. because uh, as the term Liu Li is it was already used to refer to the glass mm -hmm. 3,000 years ago in, in China in China in Western Zhou Dynasty mm -hmm. more importantly is there's some artifact mm -hmm. discovered in Han Dynasty mm -hmm. which they back to almost uh, 2,100 years ago. So we think with uh, such a historical backing, mm -hmm. are we able to use the crystal glass to create the artworks that inspired by our culture? So we hope to, we, we have a really art that is specific to our culture. But you insisted on using the term Liuli yes. instead of uh, crystal or, or glass art yeah. to, to, to have that Chinese mark, China mark on your yeah, product. We hope to, we can, uh, spiritual, we can connect to our cultural history. How different is your Liuli work, say, from, from glass work or crystal work from other countries like in Japan or in Germany or Czech? Uh, there was the very interesting thing we call the bad de mm -hmm. which means the uh, the paste of glass in other words it actually is the sort of like the wax loss casting and which can provide a very interesting freedom you can achieve all the details you like to have because the, if you are emphasized if for Italian you know Venetian glass is just blowing and when you go back to the Czech, they emphasize the, uh, the casting glass. But none of them, they can provide, you know, very detailed sculpture, mm -hmm. only the bad design. Yes, okay. so the, in the beginning, we just did decide to use the, the bad design. Mm -hmm. But the most interesting thing to us is actually, just as the Lord has been mentioned, it been exist in Han Dynasty already. So that will be, uh, you know, enforces the idea about we should use the uh, term Liuli. Mm -hmm. Maybe we don't need use the just the, you know, ready terms as a crystal glass or art glass. So when you say Liuli, it's not just material. Exactly. You can create artworks on it. It's, 
it's a, uh, a kind of feeling, emotion, yes. a state of mind, even mm -hmm. philosophy. Well, yes, in not just the uh, uh, object, not just the, a piece of art. Mm -hmm. It's a sort of, uh, you know, like a, a carrier, a vehicle, always carries something, mm -hmm. and which we like to, uh, you know, maybe we can uh, benefit to uh, our society. We can improve our cultural environment as well. It seems that Liu Li has become a religion for the couple, with their mind enthralled and heart devoted. Both artists are perfectionists. Laurie de Yang won't stop until the perfect piece is done, and considering each piece takes at least six to eight months of meticulous work to complete, this can be a frustrating process. Both artists have had their fair share of health scares, possibly attributed to their overworking. Yang has lost hearing in her left ear and Chang has suffered with heart disease for many years. Buddha, the theme, the material must seem so unique to you. The old idea comes from the uh, very core idea is the fragility, the, 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 the glass. You know, the, when we view the glass, it always reminds you it's so gorgeous, but when it's just fall on the earth, on the floor, it's just crash. And that will become sort of a, you know, just symbol of life. Is so fragile. Fragile. Is the uh, look you were feels so glimmer, but in suddenly it just disappear and crash in pieces. In the seventies, Chang Yi was a renowned playwright and film director. Laura De Young was named best leading actress in the twenty-first and twenty-second Golden Horse Film Awards ceremony and winner of the Best Actress Prize at the Asia Pacific Film Festival. But all of a sudden, at the peak of their careers, they changed their callings. Who made that decision? <laughs> Director or the actor? Yeah, I can say both of us. <laughs> uh, for me, uh, I think in the last few years in show business, mm. I feel I reached a stage in my life where I need to learn some, something more, something new, mm -hmm. but I don't know what it is. I think the performance in 12 years is a sort of experience for me to to went through all the life of the 124 films or roles I played and I can use that experience so when I start sculpture I can use uh, the, the skill and the experience utilize it when I sculpting. Johnny said to me, you use your body to add to performance. And uh, sculpting requires you to perform with the clay. And then they go hand in hand, performance and sculpting. Oh, it's easy for you to say this now because <laughs> you, you've reached this stage now. But at that moment, when Loretta said something like you, hey, mm -hmm. Chang Yi, why don't we just uh, switch our roles to a different part, totally different. Uh, what were no, you thinking at the he time? Suggested. You suggested. Yeah. You were the one. Yeah. You were not happy you fed up with the film industry or what? I have to admit the, uh, the movie at that time in Taiwan, mm. it's for, for, to me, it's a sort of a shaky. Because the, the always is something is the uncertain for censorship, you know, mm -hmm. uh, Taiwan still have a quite harsh censorship to all the film. And the second, 
the production, the, the environment, the, the industrial environment is not that, you know, made our, you know, ideal the, 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 the environment. Mm -hmm. So we spend a lot of time to waste. Mm -hmm. And the final purpose that I feel was just a little bit worried about, you know, we getting a little bit aged. Yeah, especially as an actress, you know, the age is not positive element <laughs> as a, you know, acting actress career. So what would be, you know, is there anything, any career, we don't have to wait. Can we do something more subjective? We can do anything we would like to do. Yes. So the accumulations <laughs> would be the key words. Mm. So we can do something, you know, we can do it right now. We can decide every detail. Mm. So that would be the point. And as we see the glass, you see, wow, it's quite interesting, so attractive. And we just think about if we just turn ourselves to this career for the rest of our life, maybe that will be a very challenge. It's sort of adventures as well. So, but you know, for for Laura to always say yes, yes <laughs> to everything. Because you're the director. <laughs> yeah, exactly, that's for her, you know, sort of uh, personality. Right. So, always to do, you know, as she just mentioned, he'd been um, as the leading title for more than 124 Film. titles of films. Mm. And from my point of view, those films, I just always wonder what's the true value for hey, this kind Hey, hey, watch your words. <laughs> but actually, so we have a scientific yes, so we, you, you Both of you have also mentioned, if you compare your two careers, you know, as a filmmaker, mm -hmm. as an actress, as a director, and as a lily artist, there are just different <laughs> ways of uh, communicating mm -hmm. with people. How so? Well, the, I just found you know, some people just asking, so what, why is this lady never have any uh, background in sculpture, design? That's how, right. can he, how can he achieve uh, such a... You High know, level. Uh, yes. Artistic. And, you know, the most, uh, the, the, the famous the sculpture, the Rodin, mm. you know, the, 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 <laughs> the thinker. The twisted. Twisted, <laughs> exactly. So I, I just ask it. The, or our designer, mm. the, the team of designers, say, show the exactly the, 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 the gesture. Mm. Nobody can show 100% correctly. This way you can do immediately. We should show them have a very, you know, experience, the observation. It become a, a training as her nature, as an instinct. It all came from your experience yes. as a 124 <laughs> titles of a movie. I cannot say too much about myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good part. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. So uh, uh, we, we just come to a really a, a conclusion. I think mm. the sculpture is exactly the same, the, uh, the, the same idea as the, the, the performance in mm. a movie. When we try to shift our paths to a new area, we uh -huh. try sometimes the safe way would be uh, an, an area which we might have some knowledge about. You didn't succeed until like three, three, four years later. Three and a half years. Three and a half years. With huge amount of input financially and humorous mm -hmm. and everything in it. Yes. Have you ever thought about say, well, maybe this is not the right way for us? No. When I was in, in the movie show business, uh, I never refused any rules come to me because I, I, I very interesting want to try different kind of rules if I can uh, have a chance to, to, to play, to, to perform it. Uh, maybe that's a kind of a reason. And when Johnny say, you want to use the glass to create the, the, our own art. And I say, yes. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's, it's so that it take it as a, like a, another movie. At the year of 1987, 
we really start everything from uh, a Scratch, big yeah. zero. Mm -hmm. For instance, for furnace work, uh, we just thought of oh, furnace, maybe just like uh, oven. Mm -hmm. And when we first time, we just uh, you know been purchase one furnace. We just realized the furnace is the size like a room. It comes with a computer. And when the people just, you know, we, we give the money and people just say, okay, from that's now yours. on, that's yours. We just realized we don't know how to computerize the heating chart. And other things is that, how about the formula to melt the crystal glass? And we just found everything, the information from the book. That's it. He really liked it, you know, when you like to learn the swimming and you just read a book. And suddenly you read for three years, you jump in the water. Nobody's sure you can swim immediately. And, but we try every individual aspect from kiln, from glass, from melting, for, for better there as well. And the formula. And so in that way, every things I face in every day is the, a bunch of the waste defect glass and maybe some pieces are sculptured as a Buddha how can you crash a Buddha even if it's a defect piece so we just place over there and then you come with the pyre like a mountain and we call it become a, like a doom and we just become as a you know a warning mm. you're a facing the, uh, the countless mm. failure every day so in the three and a half years only things I learned is the you know try to mortgage all the property even some of we call the second mortgage because the money been burned out already mm. and for like a furnace that we don't know there's a heater inside Every day say, oh, it didn't work. What happened? He say, oh, the heater is broken. How much is it for a heater? It's around $300. And every time you face it, is, you, you got no money at all. You spend all the penny in your pocket. You have to face it. Oh, it's not just one piece is broken. It's six pieces broken. Where you got the money? And that's my job. You have to ask me. even burn our kiln. Yes. <laughs> and you can see that it's coming with uh, continuously disaster, frustrations. And yeah, people are just asking, Johnny, are you out of your mind? Are you crazy? I will ask the same question. <laughs> okay. Oh, we just, uh, we got no way to turn back. Yeah. And we decided, and that's it. And we just, uh, you know, try to comfort the each other we just say when you look the pieces even if it's broken I think that would be first, first pieces one. in the Chinese glass history mm. that's a quite you know mm. powerful encouragement mm. try to comfort yourself and we say we can do that again but for Lorca it's a quite iron lady it's quite very strong a Blood type is A, as a Virgo. <laughs> Never give up. What are the experiences that you would like to share with people? It, it's not from my perspective, it's from Loretta. It's mm. for the old observation, observation about this lady. Never give up. Never give up. And never say no to anything, any suggestion. Never say no. You ask it anything, you say, oh, you like to do this, you say yes. And never give up. Even in the most miserable situation, never give up. Mm. I don't have this kind of uh, persistence. But I ask my uh, observation since I worked with this lady in movie, I realize it's very special nature for her. You know, in movie, mm. when I say, uh, Oh, you've been um, starring for more than 120, but is there any uh, true recognition mm. for your performance? Mm. No, I don't think so. Because everybody just saw your, you know, 
they got a very um, interesting nickname. They call this lady uh, uh, Angel's Face, mm. Devil's Figure. <laughs> I say, everybody just, you know, just pay the attention about your appealing. Nobody mm -hmm. cares about your performance. Mm -hmm. So if you are daring to gain maybe 20 kilos and make yourself a totally uh, you know, different figure at all, and you can show your true performance. Are you accepted? You say, yes. yes. <laughs> That's the movie we call The Great Male Woman. Uh, it become a very uh, topic for at that time. So everybody say, it's real, it's real, it's true. It's true. Within one and a half months, this lady just uh, by endless, continuous eating to gain 22 kilos. 22 kilos? Yes, exactly. Just one and a half months. Mm -hmm. And, you know, after one and a half months, we know she will be, uh, you know, show on the stage, maybe receive the award or present mm -hmm. the uh, Golden Horse Award to some actress. I said, can you just get rid of the weights mm -hmm. within just maybe three weeks? Mm -hmm. He just did that. And so that become a historical, the, 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 the interesting the events in Taiwan movie industry. And from this, the, 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 okay, achievement, I can so sure, yeah, she can do anything if the direction is, is good enough, mm. is correct. But Laura Diana and Chang Yi are more ambitious than just keeping their works under the lights and museums. At Shanghai New World, they opened their restaurant TMSK, bringing Luli down to life. From plates and cups to decors and lights, TMSK immerses customers in the world of Luli. So now we're in your <laughs> restaurant here, right in the city center of Shanghai. The setting is totally different from the museum. Another playground, <laughs> <laughs> Loretta, right? For me, yeah. Because, but for me, uh, that would be a disaster, you know, <laughs> because nobody can, you know, take the idea about the, uh, to outsourcing. So we have to manufacture every piece by ourselves. So you have the idea, your own idea, you designed it yourself, yes, you have to make, make it them by yourself. yourself. You know, just for instance, one, one wine glass from us. Something like these? Yes. It will cost you uh, 800 RMB. For just so, one piece? Yes. But for, as a, you know, average restaurant, I don't think any restaurant can afford for this. Mm. But for our purpose, we are not just the uh, for a restaurant. We like to promote. To, to show a showcase for our living product line. That would be our main purpose. So this is more like a, a, a different platform to show that your understanding of a new lifestyle mm -hmm. through all these you know, drinkwares, through mm -hmm. the decoration, through the details. Do you see yourself as an artist? You are an artist <laughs> in the first place. An entrepreneur, mm -hmm. or maybe both. How do you mm -hmm. define yourself? Well, there's a very interesting saying just recently we received from our, our very close friend, Antoine Lapillier. He just say usually a restaurant, uh, I mean an artist usually, uh, he just got, you know, a hat in the cloud. And if you are an artist, your food is still in the cloud as well. But for myself, my, my hat will be in the cloud. But my food have it on the floor. So you're a on tall the guy. Then. Yeah, a yes. tall guy. <laughs> <laughs> Try to find a balance. You started in 1987. Mm -hmm. Basically, you have you're supposed to have that early entry advantage because mm -hmm. you're the first ones. Mm -hmm. uh, later on, we see competition joining in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe some of the competition you cultivated it yourself and mm -hmm. your former colleagues or the your, your <laughs> earlier partners. We don't talk about that. But basically, mm -hmm. we see competition coming in mm -hmm. and this new market. Mm -hmm. So how do you see competition? Actually, we foresee this kind of situations mm -hmm. in the very beginning stage for Liu Li Gongfang. 
we are realized we sort of a, you know we can master of the bedive. And the first idea come to our mind is the uh, shall we just recognize this as a intellectual property, and we should keep it as a secret recipe. And Laurita just mentioned since the bedive there, in the first stage we recognize this uh, French technique, mm. and after three and a half years we just realize. In Han Dynasty, we have this existed already. Mm -hmm. Why should we keep this just for ourselves? Shall we share the, all the uh, know-how to everyone? And we like to uh, just the, uh, stimulate the uh, a new industry and a uh, creative uh, new stage, a new platform for everyone who will be interested in this. So that's why both of you have yes. been giving lectures to others. Yeah, we teach uh, the technique to the university, and uh, we also to show the, all the processes to the, our guests in our exhibition. I think sometimes some negativity can be seen as a motivation for us. You have to keep going. <laughs> keep going, keep going. And, uh, I know uh, the competition uh, in the end, it's not the technique, not about the technique. It's it about should be the creativity, mind, about your mind, mind mm -hmm. your belief, your, creativity, your value, imagination. imagination. Mm -hmm. So I'm not so worried about this. <laughs> You're not? <laughs> yeah. yeah. How, how do you divide your own duties? For me, that's quite clear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unless the budget is on my shoulder, right? <laughs> so they will, she she just don't care about the uh, how much it will be the budget, how will be the uh, our P and L, you know. Do you not time. care at all? Of course I care. But, uh, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, you care in a different way, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is your role like, say, uh, in real life? Is it? Similar to your role, say, in your career. Well, I he's still he's director. Uh, yeah. He's still the director. <laughs> that, that's a I, quite. I'm the... follower. <laughs> he will make the breakfast for me every Ooh. every day. A every caring morning. husband. Mm. Here is the question: Many people would like us to ask <laughs> you. Would you consider maybe in the future coming back to the film industry? <laughs> as your, as for you. <laughs> And never say no. <laughs> <laughs> That's your yes. principle. Never, never say never no. Never say yes. <laughs> never say yes. Well. So the doors is still open, still right? Open. Yeah. Still open. <laughs> well, that's actually a tricky answer, but <laughs> we hope to see that one day we see you back again on the big screen. You're still the director. <laughs> you are the actress. If someone wants to see the old lady, <laughs> come <laughs> on. No, at least we can start with your own story, with yeah. Lily Gongfang's story. Why not? You know, mm -hmm. who can portray that character and tell that story better than you too? Because you experienced it. You've been there <laughs> okay. every day. Go go go. Go go go. Never say no. <laughs> right. Thank you. Both, thank, thank you. you for joining us in ICON and all the best wishes for the future, both for the Lily <laughs> career and for your well, film career if you do come back. <laughs> all right. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for thank having you. us.